This is a video by Rich Ben. Today we're working on a McPherson strut. We're going to be disassembling and reassembling it. Once the strut is off the vehicle, you want to put it in some sort of holding device, like a bench vise. Now you'll need a spring compressor. You can use a device like this. It's a very common spring compressor. Now, we're going to put it on the spring. One on one side of the coil, and one opposite of that on the other side. And then they have these little safety hooks you can put on. that side and we can put our safety hooks on the other side okay there we are all in place now we can compress our spring. Okay, we're getting there. There we go. The spring is, is all loose. It has no pressure on the top mount. Now we have to take the top nut that holds the strut together. On the end of the strut shaft is the nut. Now there is a couple of different kinds. This particular one is a very common variety where it has a Torx bit in the end of the shaft. And what you can do if you don't have an impact, you can use a wrench to remove the nut and then to secure the shaft. You use a tool like that. That's how you can remove the nut if you don't have an impact. Now, the, uh, this other variety, which is this one in the vise, it doesn't have the Torx bit in the end of the shaft. So what you'll do is this washer here has a couple of flats on it. You can use channel locks. You can use some a pipe wrench and then take your wrench and remove the nut that way. Now we're going to be using the impact wrench to remove that nut. Now when you do that, make sure you grab a hold of the mount because it's going to want to turn on you. washer there's our top mounts delicate with this spring spring and of course this is your bump stop
and shield. Now if you're going to be reusing that, this one right here is rusted to the shaft a little bit. I don't think you'd be reusing that one. Well, you might want to use it. It's up to you. And there we go. We're all disassembled. Now, if you're going to be replacing the spring because it's busted, be very careful when you remove your compressor tool. And then you'll have to recompress your new spring before you put it on. Now, if you're reusing the spring and just replacing the strut make sure you check the spring out make sure it's okay and by checking this one out I see we have a broken spring right here so this one is junk but for this demonstration let's presume that that spring is okay and we're just replacing the strut okay now Make sure that our bottom seat is positioned. Then we want to install our shield and bump stop. And we can install our spring. Make sure the spring is seated correctly in the bottom seat here. And then we can install our top mount. Now, this particular one has a flat on the shaft. So on the washer, you want to look for the flat. That will go on like so. And of course, you'll be putting a new nut with your new strut. And I'm going to close that down. Now what you can do is if you if you're not familiar with an impact and you want to torque that nut down, of course what you do is you'll use the same procedure that you took it off. In this case, you would put something on here to hold that washer and then you would put your wrench on and torque it down to the correct specifications just like that. Now that we have the shaft nut all tightened we can remove our compressor tool. Make sure that the spring doesn't shift out of position sure that your top mount is in the same position it was before you took it off. And we can remove our little safety hooks here. assembled and that's all it takes to disassembling and reassembling your McPherson strut